So here we have the review of the Ducati Multistrada 950. Now this bike we've been riding for the last 10 days here in Thailand and I've really got to know this bike inside and out. So why would Ducati knock 250cc off an already amazing bike? Well the reason is not everyone can handle the 1200cc Multistrada engine. By knocking 250cc off this bike it's just calmed things down and it's made it into more of a touring bike than a sport touring bike. Now don't get me wrong, it still handles very well. Ducati are not stupid, they always make a very sweet handling motorcycle and this is no exception. It shares the same chassis as the 1200, just a different trail, different rake. It's a very functional motorcycle, it's a very stylish motorcycle, looks like a Multistrada. And overall I think as a touring motorcycle, this is definitely an excellent bike. The Multistrada 1200 is really a motorcycle in my opinion for the more experienced rider. This however fits a, a much broader base of rider. You can actually get on this motorcycle with lesser experience and be very safe and enjoy it. One thing about this bike is the seat height is much lower than the usual Multistrada. When you're riding the bike you're really sat in the bike rather than on top of it making it much easier to get on, much easier at the stop signs when you need to put your feet down and overall just an easier bike to get on, manage and ride. So stopping power here on the front, awesome Brembo brake system, lots of feel back through the lever as ever with the Brembo system, good stopping power. But one thing that this bike doesn't have is lean ABS, it does have ABS but not lean ABS. And also on the front brake here, before the adjustment was always in numbers, one, two, three, four, five, and it would adjust the lever in different ways. Now, it's just a scroll little dial, and I think that that's better, because I can micro fine tune my lever and adjust that on the fly very easily also. So, a nice little touch there on the front brake system. So the bike's lost around about 10 pounds over the 1200 and they've done this really because they've lost the electronic suspension in the front. It's now not electronic, it's manual. Still fully adjustable, but when you go through the riding modes, you're gonna have to adjust that suspension yourself if you want to change it. However, I didn't. I left this bike stock, rode it for 10 days in all different terrains and I have to say, it handles all of it perfectly. You've got a nice big 5.3 gallon tank here, really important for your uh, long distance touring. I've had no problems knocking out hours and hours in the saddle here. We've had these full, the panniers at the back, amazing. Touratech have done such a great job. They're strong, they're robust, they're watertight, and you can fit a lot of stuff in these panniers. I've had them chocker full, heavy, and I really want to see how the bike would handle all of that and it does just right. Usual creature comforts with Ducati, you've got an adjustable screen here at the front, easy to use, you can adjust that on the fly without any problems at all and I like that, you don't want to be messing around, got some nice big handlebar protectors here, typical Multistrada. Very cleared mirrors here, big mirrors. We were in a big group at one stage here on the tour Good visibility out of the mirrors, always felt very secure on the bike. Foot peg wise, you can have the rubber on the top or you can take the rubber off and have the standard foot peg. Personally, I preferred it without the rubber, that way I could go from the street to the dirt and back again, not have to think about my pegs. But they do have a rubber insert there if you want to have less vibration on your feet. You've got a big skid plate there at the bottom to protect the engine and some guards in front of the radiator too. Some awesome crash bars here from Touratech. This bike now is a real adventure machine. Now these are all add-ons. I have to say they really complement the machine and make it a very adventurous bike. Loads of room here for the passenger. I've had a passenger on, my cameraman. Great big grab rails here, so very secure for the passenger too. And I think over the 1200 with less power, this is a motorcycle that probably will suit a couple going touring rather than the Multistrada 1200 which is a bit more sporty. Now the 19 in the front, they've added a couple of inches to the front wheel, that helps it on the dirt. The bike doesn't steer as quick, 
and it also just doesn't have as much weight over the front, the bias over the front. So having a 19 just allows you to definitely take this trail riding. We haven't really got the tyres to go hardcore trail riding, but I had no problems on some hard packed dusty trails. You've got some strong spoked wheels, again more suitable for taking this bike off road. So if you had better tyres on it, these are really street based Pirellis, you can get a more dual sport tyre, you could definitely take this off road and enjoy it. We've also gone through monsoon conditions here in Thailand at times. The bikes handle the conditions perfectly. Uh, a lot of feedback through the suspension. I've been impressed with that. Here in Thailand, we've had some very mixed conditions and also the roads we've been riding sometimes have been covered in dirt, gravel. You need a bike that gives you feedback. You don't want to be skidding all over the place. Good feedback coming through the suspension here. You've got your four riding modes, you've got your enduro, your urban, your touring and your sport. All make a difference or you can do it on the fly while you're riding. Just shut the throttle, uh, pick your mode, press it and away you go. So you can change that as you ride. I like that feature. Within that, you can change so many different levels of ABS and traction control. You've got three levels of ABS, eight levels of traction control. Find what's suitable for you. You can put that into the memory and every time you start the bike it will remember that or just go back to default very quickly and you've got your standard settings back should you just go out of your parameters. Now that's really important. Some adventure bikes they have the ability to change things but the memory just refreshes every time you turn the key off and you've got to go into your settings and find your particular setting. It can be very annoying not with the Multistrada. I really like that feature. For me in sport mode, I was trying it without traction control and without ABS. I wanted to see what the bike had and I was able to program that into sport mode and then use the other modes, touring, urban and enduro in default. So overall for us, really enjoyed my time here on the 950. I think you're going to find that this bike is more suitable for a broader spectrum of riders like I said, it's not as aggressive as the 1200, but with that, less can be more. And I think with this bike, it's gonna to appeal to more people. Overall, thumbs up.